Welcome to the report from Tiger Mountain. We're going to do a special report today. We're going to talk about, you know, uh, something I'm, else I'm involved with. Outside of the report from Tiger Mountain, we're going to talk about my film festival, the Melbourne Underground Film Festival. Stick around. It's got a little advert for that tonight on the report from Tiger Mountain. Thank you. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, in about one week we've got the, um, you know, report from Tiger Mountain presents the uh, 23rd Melbourne Underground Film Festival. Yes, it's my film festival. Once a year I uh, support independent cinema in this country and I put together a seven day festival uh, of features and shorts and international guests from around the world and conspiracy theory documentaries and all kinds of stuff, mate. So uh, we're doing that this year. Uh, we're doing that December 8th to the 14th. The main venue is in 371 Settlement Road, Thomastown, uh, which is a great venue, great projection facility, seats about 100, 150 people, and a uh, great sound system, and I know it might be a little bit of a joint for some people, but you know, you got to support the uh, freedom movement, come along. There's a full program here, you know, of all the films you can see. If you go to muff.com.au, you've got all the uh, program of films. You've got features, you know, here. You've got uh, special events, which includes Larry Wessel, a documentary filmmaker, and a kind of rebel outsider, troublemaker, um, coming out from the United States. You've got Frank Housen's film, Remembering Nigel. Um, you've got shorts put together by Fizia Filet, my assistant director, who does a great job. Two pages of shorts from all over Australia. One of the great ones is uh, Travis Bain's uh, new short, Zombies vs. the Man Shed. And then you've got the scheduled films there, with them all playing uh, at the Q Room uh, on Settlement Road out in Thomas Town. And then you've got the director statement, which is a statement from myself, uh, Frank Hauser and Aphesia Filet. So that's the Melbourne Underground Film Festival for 2023. Uh, obviously, I don't plug what I'm doing too often on the re report from Tiger Mountain, as I don't want to be too nepotistic, but I thought once a year I can afford to do it. So get along. It's a cash-only festival, ladies and gentlemen. I want to support the cash movement. So I thought, why not just make the festival all cash? That way, if you want to come along, bring 20 bucks. It's 20 bucks to get in, or if you've got a concession card, it's 15 bucks. Or if you're a friend of mine, send me an email. Maybe I'll put you on the door list if you're really nice to me. So there it is, the Melbourne Underground Film Festival. 23 years. You get less time for manslaughter, ladies and gentlemen. And I've been running it, and uh, I've Obviously, I'm a filmmaker myself and a political commentator, so I've made uh, six or seven features. So if you want to see my work, go to uh, you know Google or Amazon and Google the DVDs of my films. They're out there. So that's it. The report from Tiger Mountain uh, supports the Melbourne Underground Film Festival. Uh, I'm the festival director. And come along. The festival starts in about a week and goes for a week. So get to it. Muff.com.au.